Welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at my ESDA S15 from last season. If you guys remember, ESDA was definitely a fun experience for me. So we're going to be going back to all the tracks of ESDA, running one or two runs in third person like we were during season. See if I've progressed and see if I've learned anything throughout the season because ESDA 2022 season is coming up. Uh, I do have my pro license for a full season on this one up and coming. I do have an amazing car that I'm going to be debuting in the new year for ESDA. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to another video. Um, tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. Well, let's get to it. So ESDA Long Beach was not a round that I got a chance to run in, so I would like to take this car out and see how I do in Long Beach. Like I said, we're going to run one or two runs at each track of the ESDA roster and uh, see if I've progressed. So ESDA Long Beach. That's where I was. Bring it out into the wall, actually. Oh, that was very shallow there. We missed that last clip. But overall, not a too bad of a run. Now, like I said, definitely had a lot of fun doing last season's celebrity rounds. And this year, I do have my pro license. So it's going to be an amazing time running my own full season so big thank you to the esda staff and everything for that but like i said got a big car coming been working on behind the scenes for a while so definitely excited to bring that out here for you guys in the new year so we're gonna see if we can't get another solid run at long beach and then of course we're going to change up tracks so let's see what we can do Probably would have been a very bad almost reverse entry through there, but we managed to not die and we managed to get that clip and that clip. So, overall, two pretty solid runs at Long Beach. So, we can change tracks and uh, go to the next one. So, if you guys remember, Mega Space was one of the first rounds I did where I was in Connor's R35. And definitely a big thank you to Connor for giving me the chance to run his R35 Skyline. So, Mega Space with this car has never been done other than in testing. So we're going to see what we can do. Not as deep as I want to be on that zone. Almost looped it, managed to save it, but... Oh, <laughs> there's... Woo, that infamous wall hit that uh, I did a lot in practice. And if you guys remember in the event, I uh, actually went into there pretty uh, pretty rough in the lead, but I managed to hold it. Um, unfortunately, you know, it did take the loss in that celebrity battle. Not a big deal, though. So we're going to give it one more final chance here at... Mega space. That was a really bad entry. Try not to fit the wall this time. I was a little gun shot on that wall. Managed to uh, not do the greatest there. Oh, a little bit up on the curb. So Mega Space, definitely a very challenging track for me when I was running it in the R35. It was kind of my uh, throw into the big guns. So we're gonna change to another track here and just keep going through these ESDA tracks, having a little fun reminiscing on the S15 before the release of my new car for next season. 
ESDA Wembley was definitely a amazing, fun track to drive it's against uh, Adrian Machado, another YouTuber, and definitely had a lot of fun with it. So we're gonna try and get two solid runs here. I know we're gonna be third gear. Kinda just dragging walls. Overall, not too bad, but definitely would have lost a lot of points if that was my actual run. So we're gonna give it one more time. That's kind of the entry I was looking for. One tire over the line. Okay, get back, kind of float into that zone. Oh, too much into that final zone. Otherwise, that track, that would have been almost a good run. So we're going to switch up to the next track. So we are at ESDA, Hampton Downs. Definitely a challenging track with uh, some low speed and high speed stuff. And the S15 had a very dialed tune with Addy and myself getting pretty dialed in the track. Just wasn't able to put it all together come qualifying. One tire drop. Kind of reminisce to my qualifying run. that way harder huge bobble there but overall not too too bad could have done way better on the zones but like I said we are just kind of throwing back on this tracks without too much uh, practice before the rounds was doing a lot of practice but kind of trying to see if I can still remember where I need to go on these tracks with this car. Like I said I am switching cars for next season, so it's gonna be a whole nother whole nother learning experience. New tracks, new car. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna just gonna save that. Running really, we're trying to get way too saucy on that right now. So we have two other tracks that we're going to go to. Two tracks I didn't get a chance to run in ESDA because I was not in for those rounds. So we're going to go change up tracks and do another two. So Gambler was definitely a very fun event to watch in ESDA. They said I was unable to make that event. So I was doing basically the car change when I was switching from the R35 to the S15. So, we're going to see what we can do in the S15 here. Probably third gear track. Not as deep as I would like to be. Oh, we could get way deeper and we also kind of... Uh, Try to get too aggressively in angle. So I've driven this track many times in other cars. Never actually taken this S15 on here. So this is a base tune that I've been running on mostly all tracks to get base numbers and stuff like that before the final tunes were done. So this tune may not be perfect for the track. Mid, mid zone into wider after managed to get that one a lot better 
So the final track is the SDA Irwindale, which is a track I have actually not run. So it's definitely very good that we're ending it there. Because, you know, we always send it Irwindale, but this is a different version. So let's do it. So I never actually got a chance to run this Irwindale version, uh, the ESDA Irwindale, which has the new style layout. So I think we're probably going to be third gear on this track. Test up my gear. Yeah, looks like it's probably going to be third gear on the bank. So we're going to see what we can do for this final track here on this episode. Once again, I thank you guys for coming back and watching another episode. We are going to be revealing a new car here in the new year. Hope you guys all had a good holiday. Trying to stay up there. Gearing is not right. And oh yeah. Gearing is definitely not right. Right now. We're going to have to try again. But yeah. Let's try to stay a little bit too long up there. Like I said. Never driven this version. I know a lot of people drive the older version still. I still like the older version as well. So let's go full send. It's a very hard wall to get to. Such a different way to attack this course than the other Irwindale that everybody runs on a set of courses. So we're going to give it one more final run here for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this reminiscing back on these tracks and want to see me do probably do these tracks in the new car once I release it. Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys have guesses of what the new car is going to be, let me know down in the comments as well because I'm very curious what you guys think. It is not a twin A90 with Addy. Oh, it is not an S chassis. So let me know what you guys think down below. Oh, I can't get this track right now. Let me know what you think down below what the new S our ESDA car is going to be. It's not an S chassis. It's not a twin A90 with Addy. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.